What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for another Fictional Fights episode commentary. Poe vs. Aang. Oh man, this episode was great. I was actually really worried about this episode at first because, I mean, it's Aang. It's Aang for crying out loud. Who doesn't love Aang? And so when I found out that he was going to lose, I got really nervous about this episode, like, real quick. I was like, oh man. Oh man, what are they gonna say? I mean, I know there's gonna be a lot of angry, just butthurt ragers because it's Avatar. I mean, no offense, Avatar fan base, but lots of you are pr pretty toxic, like the Naruto fan base. But don't worry, I'm insulting myself too because I am also part, a big part of the, both of those fan bases. I love Avatar. I love Naruto to death. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was worried about Aang losing in this episode. So one of the, one of the excuses I thought people were going to use was Poe is clumsy. Poe is goofy. But they forget that Poe being clumsy and goofy is part of what makes Kung Fu really good. Like, t when he first has the dragon scroll and he's like, Hey, Tai Lung, come fight me! And then Tai Lung, like, lunges at him and punches him. And then Poe bounces back and hits a support beam and then bounces- and then, like, bounds off of it. And then hits Tai Lung by accident. Or when Tai Lung punches his stomach and it like waves around in slow motion and then his arms fly back and then fly forward and he hits Tai Lung. <laughs> or like when they're falling down the stairs and Poe sits on Tai Lung's face on the way down. Poe's goofiness and sort of jokey clumsiness is what makes his kung fu good. He knows what he's doing and he messes up what he's doing but even when he messes up it still works out for him. So Poe being a screw up goofball cl klutz goofy guy isn't a valid reason for why he would lose or anything, because he wouldn't lose. Uh, and at first I was sort of pondering whether or not to include stuff from the show. Like, he didn't really need it, but I needed more material for the script, so I decided to include it anyways. Like, in the results, I mainly stated stuff for the movies that would help him win, and I sort of glanced over the show stuff like the Mongolian Fireball, the Golden Lotus Clap, and the Fluttering Finger Mind Slip. Which Poe did forget, but I included it anyways, because whatever, it didn't really make a difference, so why not? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a bit stuffy right now, it's fall and my allergies are act well, not fall, it's almost fall, it's headed towards fall, and my allergies are acting up. Oh, who am I kidding, it's not even close to fall, I'm just lame. <clears throat> But anyways, the animation for this episode was also done by Rampage Animations, and it was really good, much better than Pit vs. Kazuya. I mean, I don't know, I can't really tell the difference, I'm not an animator, I can't tell if something's getting better or worse, but it seems better to me. Like how he worked around the limited Poe sprites, and how he used Aang's bending powers, and how, you know, Poe used the bending against Aang. Like when he picked up the earth spikes that came out of the ground and threw him at Aang. So I figured that, I, I thought that was pretty well done. And Rampage Animations has one more fight that he's doing for the season, and then he's done for the season. I'll probably bring him back next season, because he's really good, he's a great guy, he's nice, his animations are good. And he always gets stuff done on time, he's he's basically good, and he's getting better and better, and I can't wait to see what he does in the future. <coughs> but next episode is Roshi vs. Jiraiya, which will be animated by someone that I'm announcing this weekend. Yep, I'm not saying it now, I'm saying it next weekend. Oh, my nose. <clears throat> oh, and here's something I kind of screwed up on. I was like, Aang gets tired after doing the Avatar state, but that was only during the beginning of the series. And after he learned to do it at will, he didn't get tired anymore. But again, that doesn't really affect the outcome because of his poor durability and the fact that Poe has a way to counter all of his bending abilities. Like, air bending can be blocked by his weight. Firebending can be blocked by, uh, because <clears throat> he's been burnt before, so it's not like, because firebending alone isn't going to stop Poe. Aang needs all four elements to stop Poe, but even then it didn't work, because waterbending could be blocked by the Mongolian fireball. Earthbending could be reflected by inner peace. The only thing that would work on Poe is firebending, but he survived being burnt before, so you know what I mean. Because energy bending, he's Master Chi too. Oh yeah, I also left- I kind of nerfed Poe a bit here, because I left out his Chi Dragon from Kung Fu Panda 3, because I'm like, oh, he can only form that with people's help, because it was that much Chi, and whoa. But we've still seen him overflow people with Chi, like, 
what he did to Kai, and then the Wushi finger hold is basically the same thing. Where he just overflows them with chi, and then their body can't handle it, and it's just like... So yeah, if it, if it weren't for Kung Fu Panda 3, it would be very hard for Poe to win this. Because, I mean, if Poe dies, he goes to the spirit realm, and then he can go right back and start over and fight Aang. So he could just try as many times as he wants to until he eventually kills Aang, so there's really literally no way for Poe to lose here. And if Aang goes to the spirit realm with him, Aang cannot bend in the spirit realm, believe it or not. And if you spend an expended period of time in the spirit realm in the Avatar series, you will die. They stated that before. Uh, I know someone in Korra survived like almost a week, pretty much. But that's about the longest we've ever seen anyone survive in the spirit realm. Oh my nose, I can't breathe! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm trying to make this commentary last as long as possible, but it's very hard when I can't breathe. This could be the shortest commentary in the history of fictional fights. But yeah, there's the fluttering finger. You know what? I don't have anything left to talk about. I think this commentary is pretty good. You'd rather have a commentary with quality content rather than a commentary where you go, uh, half the time, right? <coughs> 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 so, goodbye.